Hey guys, Ernie here, and welcome to the Paleo Hiker MD channel. It's time for another stove video. Who's ready? Let me hear you. I've done detailed reviews of both the Pocket Rocket Deluxe from MSR and the MSR Pocket Rocket 2. And I found them to both be very capable stoves. Now, I was at REI the other day and I saw several stoves by the company Snow Peak. I've used quite a few Snow Peak products, but I've never tried one of their stoves. So I picked up the Snow Peak Gigapower 2.0 stove and I have to ask, is it better than the Pocket Rocket 2 from MSR? They're very similar in price. Let's put them up against each other. Thanks for watching, guys. Now I'm always looking for new stoves to check out, so what's a guy to do when he's at the REI, it's July 4th sale, and you got a little money left on the dividend, you buy a new stove. So here is the Snow Peak Gigapower 2.0. We'll give it a quick weight inside of the case. 111 grams or 3 and 1 8 ounces. We'll get it out. It's a nice little case, basic case, but it works. Here's the stove itself. We'll give it a quick weight without the case three ounces or 87 grams. Dimensions are 3.6 by 2 by 1.8. Claimed weight is 3.2 ounces. You could see it was just a little bit less than that, which is nice. Claims it boils one liter of water in four minutes, 48 seconds. You pull this down here and you just spread these open like this and you've got yourself your stove just like that. Does have, as you can see, a built-in piezo igniter. Pretty unique design. There are a couple of other stoves that have similar designs, but this is a pretty unique design to me, the way this bell housing is here for the flame, and then these just pop in and out. Um, not necessarily the most compact design, but compact enough. It actually works pretty well. It's a very sturdy base for a pot. Price is $49.95, so a little more expensive than the MSR Pocket Rocket 2. If you're looking for a full review of the Pocket Rocket 2, I did one of those. Look back on the channel. I'll leave a link down below. Today, we're just gonna compare how they work as far as boiling some water. I'm gonna turn down the lights, show you guys the flame pattern on this Gigapower 2.0. Here we go. We can, of course, turn it on with the piezo igniter. All the way up. Let's see how good the control is far as simmering, pretty decent. You can drop it down pretty low. Let's boil some water. We weighed our fuel. Let's crank this on. Crank it all the way up. And let's see how long it takes. Three minutes, six seconds. A little long, I think. That's a little long. We'll see how the Pocket Rocket 2 does, but I think that's going to be longer than that. Let's see how much fuel it used, and then I'm going to recycle and set up for the Pocket Rocket 2. So here's the Pocket Rocket 2. Let's get it going and get the timer started. Let's see how long it takes. Two minutes, 16 seconds. Very similar to another test I did. I got 212 on a prior video. So 216 for the Pocket Rocket 2. I'm going to weigh out the fuel, see how much it used, and we'll talk about it. All right, so let's review the results. First off, the Snow Peak Gigapower 2.0. It boiled two cups of water in three minutes, six seconds, and used eight grams of fuel. The MSR Pocket Rocket 2 boiled two cups of water in two minutes, 16 seconds, and also used eight grams of fuel. So let's talk pros and cons first, just about the Snow Peak Gigapower 2.0. We'll focus on that stove first. It's lightweight, it's compact, it's very easy to pack inside of either a cook kit or anywhere in your backpack. And it does have that little protective case, which is nice, so no pointy things get at the very fragile fabric of your backpack. It seems well constructed, it feels high quality, and it does have a built-in piezo igniter. It has very good flame control, 
although maybe not as good as the pocket rocket we'll talk about that it does have good flame control and it is extremely sturdy as a stand for a variety of different pot sizes now we'll discuss the cons well first of all it is definitely less wind resistant i didn't put it up against any wind but if I would blow on it just a little bit in my testing, it really was affected by the wind. So that's a definite con. It's also more expensive. It's $50 versus the current price of the Pocket Rocket 2 at $32.95. So do I like this stove? Yeah, I do. I do like the stove. But is it better than the Pocket Rocket 2? No. No, it's not. It's nice because it's not a cookie cutter stove. It has an interesting design for the flame itself, for the jets. I don't know if it's as efficient as maybe the more standard that comes with the pocket rocket, but the pot stands are very robust, and I think they're also pretty unique. I do think Snow Peak makes high quality gear, and I think this fits right into it. It just doesn't match up to the pocket rocket too on many areas. It's slower, it does use the same amount of gas, and it is a little bit smaller form factor wise, but I like the flame control of the pocket rocket too better, and I just think it feels a little bit more sturdy. It also has some built-in wind protection, which this Snow Peak does not have. I think this is a very nice stove, and three minutes, six seconds is a very respectable time. But the premise of this video was, is this the Pocket Rocket 2 killer? And it's not. If you're going to pick just one, go with the cheaper and better one, the MSR Pocket Rocket 2. Hope you guys enjoy these kinds of videos. I certainly do. I love putting new stoves into the collection and testing them out. Do you guys want to see, for example, Pocket Rocket 2 versus Pocket Rocket Deluxe? Maybe, maybe we should do that sometime soon. Let me know down in the comments if you want to see that and if you want to see any other stoves here on the channel, maybe I'll pick them up down the road. Not sure if you guys are aware, but I have an entire stove playlist and I'll make sure to leave a link down below. 50 or 60 videos on all things stoves. Do me a big favor guys, if you like the video, hit the thumbs up down below. Really, really helps spread things across YouTube and helps the channel tremendously. I also know a lot of you guys that watch these videos are not subscribed, so take a moment, click the little subscription button if you don't want to miss any videos, and if you really want to make sure, hit that ding dong bell and you'll be notified every time I release a new video. It's hot guys, it's Louisiana, cicadas are out, you can probably hear them. Of course they. They're nice for whenever I uh, want to shoot a video, they just stop chirping. Nonetheless, guys, really having a good summer so far. Trying to stay safe. Hope everyone out there is safe. As always, I appreciate you checking out the Paleo Hiker MD channel. Stay tuned for more videos soon.